I'm praying for you. Mm. Yokes, altars. I'm seeing fire like, like smoke rising, rising from things that look like stones. The Lord is showing me a dark shadow, shadow that has rested on families, some for decades. And the Lord is saying, this is the shadow that has covered the glory of many families. And the Lord is lifting it right now. He's lifting it right now. Bring them out. Lifting it right now. <laughs> lifting it right now. Please bring them. Now I'm seeing chains tying the feet of people. Feet means your movement. The Lord is taking away delay. I'm seeing delay. I'm seeing the number 25. Families, please bring them out. Delay, the spirit of delay that has tied down destinies. Bring them out. Da ka so ni aka. Abane ya fi ko dia e zaka. Abane ya fi ko dia. Shine zamba. Ta ra 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 I want to pray very quickly. You are still bringing a few more people out now. I'm seeing something tied around the stomachs of people. And I'm wondering what is this is? What, what the meaning of this is? And the Spirit of God is telling me that this is enchantment. This is witchcraft over many. It came through dreams and it has tied down many. This thing started from your dream and then tied your destiny down from seeing yourself in secondary school to writing exams that never finish to things holding your destiny down right now be released be released bring them out be released be released by the power that raised christ from the dead by the power that raised christ from the dead by the power that raised christ from the dead Hale shale now hear me, every family under any cause, cause of untimely death, cause of failure at the edge of breakthrough, now you are going to shout Jesus. With that one loud shout, those altars must give way now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released, your family, be released, your business, be released, your destiny, be released, everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. What has buried the name of your family? The statement, Ichabod, that it cannot even be heard again. A family that was once great, known for greatness, but it looks like the devil has sat on your destiny. I'm talking to three people by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus right now, 
the by the fire of the Holy Ghost I declare may that veil may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now over your family may that veil be torn right now every month you must treat sickness mysterious sicknesses eating up your finances eating up your energy your vitality i don't know who i'm speaking to but by the power that raised christ from the dead that demonic authorization over your body is cancelled now cancelled now the lord is showing me a woman you've not been able to meet your husband abroad because they've denied you visa I don't know if there's such a person I've prayed for a number of people with those cases but the Lord is speaking to me about one you've not been able to go and meet your husband you are legally married but you are unable to go and meet your husband because you've been denied again and again and this has caused a lot of tension in your home wherever you are by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name that is above all names we consult the greatest consular general and we declare by the spirit of the living God that this time around may favor speak for you may favor speak for you may favor speak for you I'm seeing someone here your brother currently has been kidnapped your brother you are aware he's been kidnapped you are trusting God for his release. I don't know if that person is in this place, else I'm going to speak. Your brother, this is what God shows me in a vision, is part of those that were kidnapped until now. He's not been released. In the name of Jesus, I use this vision as a point of contact to everyone who has been kidnapped by wicked men, by the power that raised Christ from the dead this week, not next week, this week. In the name that is above all names, we declare their release now. We declare their release now. Amen. We declare their release now. Amen. For everyone who is in front here brought by the Spirit of God, I decree and declare every spirit that has held you down, God brought you by himself. Right now be released. Amen. Right now be released. Amen. I decree and declare that as you rise, you step into a range, a, a level of strange testimonies. Amen. Strange testimonies. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Return back to your seat rejoicing. How many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs? Just lift your hands and put it down. Let me see. If you don't believe, keep your hand down. You are trusting God that God between now and March, that God can open a stranger. Let me see your hands. I want to pray for you. The prophetic is very powerful. And that includes those from several nations. You've heard testimonies. You can stand for your brother. You can stand for your son. You can stand for your daughter. You can stand for your spouse. I decree and declare. I don't know who is trusting God for a job. For you, for your family. Or a change of job. Because some of you, what you are doing is not really a job. Anything that steals your spiritual life, destroys your health, causes enemies and multiplies your sorrow is not from God. Therefore, I decree between now and the next one month in the name that is above all names and by the power of prophecy from the east to the west, the north to the south, Nigeria and beyond, may God give you a strange testimony. May my God give you a strange testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I feel stirred in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. The overflow outside. Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm praying for everybody. Everybody can tap. But I just sense in my spirit to speak over the overflow outside. Outside. Media, if you can help me. Let me speak over the overflow outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I don't know why God is asking me to speak Perhaps it is to connect with you to let you know that distance is no barrier. And it doesn't matter up basement, all the other overflows, you can connect by faith. But I'm speaking particularly to those outside. Lift your hands, those outside, I want to pray for you. 
And I want you to believe by the faith of the Son of the living God that what God will do in your life will surprise you beyond your imagination. Father, in the name that is above all names, I pray for my people outside. Lift your hands and believe. This is not entertainment. Believe. Believe. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He said, believe in his prophets, so shall you prosper. I pray for you. Everything that will make you laugh and celebrate between the next two weeks, whatever it is, by all godly means, I declare, may it happen for you. Everything that will make you celebrate. Ah, Sarah said, all who hear this will rejoice with me. I pray for you in the name of Jesus between now and the next two weeks. Those outside, but it applies to everybody. Whatever God must do to make you laugh, I declare may it happen speedily. Speedily. If it's a job, may it happen speedily. If it's your visa, may it happen speedily. If it's your house, may it happen speedily. The Bible says, despise not prophesyings. Despise not prophesyings. Still keep them. I'm speaking to them. I'm speaking to them. Why God is putting it in my heart to speak to them? I'm speaking to those outside. Sometimes God moves like this to comfort us. To help us see and know that distance is no barrier. Media, are you helping me? In the name that is above all names. The oil of favor. The oil of favor that can come upon a man's head. That can come upon a man's hand. That can come upon his feet and rewrite his story. I stretch my hands. First from outside and then to all connecting and to those connecting across the globe. In the name of Jesus. Listen, I tell you with all humility and with every sense of regard to you and to God. I know what favor is. I know how it works. I have seen what the favor of God can do. This ministry is evidence that God's favor can rest upon a man. It is such as I have in the name of Jesus to those outside and whoever is tired of struggling, moving from pillar to post and things are not working. In ministry, in finances, I pray for you. Receive the oil of favor. 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 Everyone shout this after me. Say, Father, every curse, every enchantment, Every demonic arrangement orchestrated by men and by spirits against my life and my destiny. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment, every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health, against my prosperity by the blood of the eternal covenant be broken be broken be broken be broken in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus